Hello everybody, my name is Chris and welcome to another episode of Homes in 5. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to install the Rebug Update Package 0.7 onto your 3.55.2 Rebug Custom Firmware PS3. Uh, so if you've gone to the link in the description below, you'll be on the same page that I am at right now, Rebug.me. Okay, I'm not going to give you the links for the downloads and all that because, as you see down here, we rely on visitors to our site to help offset server costs, so make sure you visit their site. Um, the update package 0.7 includes the following, so this will update Rebug's version spoof files to 4.11, so your PS3 will say that you have the latest official firmware on your PS3. It also enables React PSN 2.0 compatibility, I'm not familiar with that, so I don't actually know what that enables your PS3 to do. And the biggest thing on this update is that they mentioned that PSN access is back, so uh, you can log into the PSN, you do need to be on Rebug mode on your PS3 to be able to um, use all of these features. Um, I tried this tutorial before and unfortunately I couldn't do it. Uh, but once you've done all that, uh, you're going to need to download the link down here. So you click and download that and you'll end up with the actual link in a text file. Uh, and you're going to need to use the link in that text file to download the final product which is right here. Rebug update package 0.7. So we've got that just there. I'll minimize this page now and then I'm going to maximize my USB stick. All right, I'm just going to copy that and paste it onto my USB stick. I'm just going to leave nothing else on there just to avoid confusion. Alright, there we go, we're copied over. So I'll close that and you will see, um, I have a nice little transition over, you can see me taking the USB out of my PS, I mean, my PC, my mistake. There it is, and putting it into my custom firmware PS3, which is that one there, my other PS3 is just there. We'll, pl we'll plug that in. Alright. There we go, and then to install it, we'll have a transition over to my PS3 now, so you can see uh, it's going up and down right here. Package Manager, Install Package Files, and Standard Package Location. And there we go, Rebug Update Package 0 0.7, we'll just install that, and the package file will actually pop up in our XMB. Install completed, we'll quit out of that, and there it is. So run that, um, there'll be a little bit of uh, fuzzy stuff on my screen probably. Uh, there we go, update will perform the following tasks, install all of these, uh, yep, 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 yes, I would like that, thank you very much. It'll actually reboot, reboot sorry, your PS3 once you've installed it. There we go, update complete, don't freak out if, it's, um, if it hangs for a while, it does do that. So the PS3 is going to reboot now. Hopefully it reboots and shows that, uh, that this is on version 4.11, even though it's actually on 3.55. I've got to turn my controller back on again, that's frustrating. System update. There we go, the latest version of the system software is already installed, there is no need to update. So we'll go down and then go to system settings, let's blur out my MAC address, you don't want to see any of that stuff, but there we go, version 4.11 MAC address is uh, something under there, free space, my IP and stuff is all blocked out too. And there we go, there you have it, that is a very simple update to install, uh, I'm not going to do PSN like I told you before because I don't really want to take the risk, but you can go to the quick sign up just there, it'll pop up and let you do all that stuff, if you really are that way inclined is to take a risk, but uh, be careful, make sure you don't use a big account. Um, anyway, this is a real quick tutorial, uh, it's good to see Rebug still putting out updates and I'm glad to see that there will be PSN access for some users. Um, anyway, this has been another tutorial by Homes in 5. Comment, rate, subscribe, do all the cool stuff. Don't forget to check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Google Plus in the description. And on my YouTube homepage, my designer will be at the very top of that page. This has been another episode of Homes in 5. Bye-bye!